All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. My la my old broadcasts were pretty shit. So now that you're looking at them now, compared to back then, there was a huge difference in what my quality used to be. Sorry, what my what inner quality used to be, and now what my quality is going to be. I'm running off much higher frames per second. This time, I'm not giving in. This time, I am running a much higher connection. This time, I'm going to present you guys no lag. No bullshit. No problems. Just straight talking. And through this, we're going to show you some crazy shit. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you guys, and a lot of guys have been requesting this, is a remastering of some of my old videos that were actually really cool. Well, the first one I'm going to do is, for good old time's sake, the best sounding cars remastered comp. Now, this was something I did before. We're going to all show, we're going to show you guys cars that you may say like, oh, they weren't that great, but I get to hear them in full glory, full blast, no delay, no problems. This is the best sounding cars remastered comp. Let's get started. First car on the list is going to be the Acura RSX. Okay, if you guys don't haven't played this game, if you guys don't own this game, if you guys don't really play this too often, there's nothing wrong with that. You gotta realize though, the Acura RSX is a sexy sounding beast. Yes, it is A class, but don't get me wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It is still a moderately decent sounding car, but it is actually a fucking ridiculous sounding car. There's no lag this time, guys. Keep that in mind. So we are running hardcore this time. And I'm not lying. I'm gonna, I'm actually kind of stoked for this. I want to see how it sounds coming through this time. Ready? Let's do this. That is the weirdest glitch ever. Alright guys, let's get started. That was the first card on the list, it was the Acura RSX. Let's get started on- oh, what the fuck, no. This one right here. We're gonna get started on the next car now. The next car on the list is gonna be another car that was from the previous list. And it is honestly one of the most underrated sounding vehicles in this entire game. It sounds absolutely fucking bonkers. Guys, let me introduce you to a vehicle we like to call the Bowler. Alright, if you guys don't know what Bowler is, in real life, Bowler is basically a Land Rover subdivision. They basically are like the Brabus All from right, Mercedes dude. for Land Rover. Let me know what you need. They basically take their vehicles and basically soup the living shit out of them and turn them into these monsters. And this Bowler is no exception. About 900 horsepower uh, worth of just power. Just power. Sure power. And uh, it sounds pretty freaking crazy. It's not a vehicle I take lately. So, uh, let's head back, and let's see how it sounds. Not a bad looking vehicle either, is it? Alright. 
and we're heading back. This broadcast looks so much cleaner. I'm liking it. All right. I sounded awesome. I'm sorry. I like the sound of the bowler. The bowler is a really great sounding vehicle. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're not tough. We're not too far from the. We're still gonna go here. It's not even that far anyway. It's the same distance. Maybe fast travel or not. But anyway, yeah. The bowler sounds crazy. It is absolutely insane sounding. There's nothing really that sounds exactly like it. And for a V8, it definitely sounds supercharged, even though it's not, which is pretty weird. All right, guys. Next car on the list right. was also so in the previous com today? complication. This is one other car that definitely sounds absolutely batshit crazy. Where is it? Let me, guys, introduce you to the Audi R8 Coupe V10 Plus 5.2 FSI Quattro. No clue why the name's got to be so fucking long. We understand. It's R8. It's got a V10. I don't know what the plus is for. I don't know what the F FSI is for. We already understand it is Quattro. All Audis today, besides the S1, are Quattros. Oh yeah, that's a B10. It's a B10. Oh, man. This car does sound good. It's definitely one of the better sounding cars. Right, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, that was an awesome sounding car. There's no doubt to say that in the least. But here we go for the next car. Next car was also in the last was in the previous best sounding car. Well, we're remastering the original one anyway. So we're basically adding a few other cars that weren't in the first place. But we're telling we're bringing back some of the cars that sound almost extremely similar to what they were in the first broadcast. If they they had I had good sound quality with my mic. But at the same time, I don't think you guys had a good cell quality coming through in general because the connection wasn't that Dude, great. Come on the connection's in. much better this How time. And you guys can hear me audibly and, cra and crazily enough, it does not sound... I don't sound like shit this time. So, we're going on to the next vehicle. Where was it? Oh, that's one of them. Hey guys, let me introduce you to one of the next vehicles. The La Ferrari. Now, the La Ferrari is... Arguably has one of the dumbest names ever. Personally, if you know how to speak... A little Spanish. You understand love's a very, very familiar word. It means the. Okay, that's understandable. And then you hear the second word, which is Ferrari. So now you're comparing both of them together and you kind of combine them and it's the Ferrari. Or the Ferrari. Ferrari the Ferrari. That's not like some fucking Thomas the Train Engine shit. I don't understand why you gotta name your car that. It just makes no fucking sense to me. But anyway, let's go up and we're gonna bring your car through the tunnel next. This is a sexy car. I'm not gonna lie. The Ferrari, the Love Ferrari is a really good looking car. And personally, I think it's actually maybe one of the best, sound, best sounding cars in this entire game. Personally, in my own opinion. I really do think this car is great. It does a lot of work that really makes it more appreciated than people think really should be in the first place. All right, see if he rubs. Awesome. That was a great sounding car. Inside and out, it sounded really cool. Even when you're sitting inside the cockpit of this car, it really does sound freaking futuristic. And it's really cool because it gives you that freaking high Formula One feel, and it's really cool. I just love the sound of it. I know I'm saying really cool too much, but you don't realize how awesome this car really does sound. It's it just, well, you guys are watching, but that's besides the point. Let's put one of the cars from the last comp, and I know you guys all will appreciate it because it really is really is one of the best out of cars you'll ever hey, hear don't be shy. Come on in. let's bring let's it in the jaguar f type yes you guys all saw it coming it is so good sounding it is almost a sin to even listen to it in the first place it is such a good sounding car it looks good it has a v8 and it does not and it does not argue with you when it wants to talk back to you and i, I mean talk back to you i mean it's gonna backfire a lot that's a great thing to hear Like that, yeah, this car will talk back to you a lot. And guys, it sounds even better in motion. Here we are.
Wow, people do not give a fuck in this game. That sounds like a supercharger, though. All right, guys, it does sound awesome. Now, next car on the list is a little more of a more of original idea. This car was in the last broadcast, but this car definitely did not get as respect as it deserved last broadcast. A lot of people say it really shouldn't be in the first place, but I really do beg to differ. This car in real life broke records. It still holds records. It's still a fantastic car. It's still a fun car. It's a sexy car. It's a cool car. It's everything above. This is the car that really started all. Hey there. Honda didn't really that? say they were a sports car company besides the NSX. The NSX, I feel like it was a, they tried their cats as a supercar. But, eh, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about that. But anyway, this is the Honda S2000. The S2000 was a cool car, man. This was the car that really was, holds Honda. They were a sports car. They can make sports cars. But it just didn't sell well because it was so overpriced. So, I don't know what to say about it mostly, but I can tell you it is a really cool car, and it sounds awesome to top it off. So, I'm not bothered by it in the slightest. I really do love this car, and I really think you guys should too. It's very underrated, but let's get started.
I'm not really interested to tell you the truth to say I actually want to play a hey, demo. Hey, how's it going? But like, I'm saying I'm just you? milking all I can of Horizon Horizon 2 till the game's already out. I'm not. I really not. Just don't want to get Forza Horizon 3 just yet. But don't worry, I am getting the game. It's going to be a little down the road, but I am getting the game. Not exactly when it comes out to tell you the truth. But I am being serious. I am getting the game. Alright. The next car on the list. Which one was it again? I know it was on the list. Ah, there it is. The Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. Now, listen. The Huracan basically got a huge amount of rep when... I believe when Forza Her I'm wait, give me a second here, because I gotta figure this out. This was the showcase car for Horizon 2. Sorry about that. That's exactly what I was trying to say. This car had so many fucking expectations, it was actually kinda scary. But it lived up to a It lived up to the expectations. But besides that, the car wasn't bad to look at in the slightest. The LB610 basically was a success, is basically the mini Aventador. That's all it was meant to be. And it basically delivers. It had a lot of cool features that make it unique. It had a lot of design cues that made it unique. But ultimately, you can obviously tell it gets a lot of its designs from the Aventador. Even from the dash. But, let's get started. Okay, yeah, that was pretty fun. Okay, yeah, this is the first car at 200 miles per hour to hold testing, which is uh, not shocking since all the cars basically don't even compare to this in any single, every single way. But we can honestly say that it's not bad. It really isn't that bad. Alright, guys. Keep in mind this, too. I don't... I wasn't going to say this to you guys, and this is going to be an honest question. I'm going back into Forza 6 eventually. Since my connection did improve greatly... And it's almost like night and day. I'm definitely going back to Forza 6. I'm doing broadcast for Forza 6. Rather than just Horizon 2. So keep that in mind, guys. I am going back. And we are going to have a lot more car right, comps going to Forza Horizon 6. Let me 6. know what you need. Now, guys, we don't have too many cars left that I can basically remember from the old broadcast. If you guys did watch the old broadcast, maybe you can remind me. But I do know one of them. And it was called the LFA. I'm not... I forgot what LFA stands for, but it definitely stands for something because it was fucking ridiculous. I think it was the Lexus Formula Association, but I'm not sure. This car... <laughs> this is crazy. Basically, Lexus decided to get a fucking challenge to say... You can't build a supercar. Well, they basically stuck it up their ass and said, we're going to make a supercar. And uh, to tell you the truth, his car is a bit outrageous. You'd be kind of shocked. You'd be shocked what Lexus actually came up with. A V10 Japanese car. Oh, jeez.
okay, that was actually pretty fun. <laughs> Holy shit, all, all four roads are pretty fucked up. Holy shit. All right, um, we're gonna go back to, and I think we're gonna do one last car, guys. Remember, this is the remastered version, and guys, thank you so much for even attempting to watch, because this is, remember, I'm a little bored right now, and listen, as soon as I got the wired internet connection, I uploaded immediately. I just did three back-to-back -back videos, even though they were all short. But I didn't care because I want to tell you guys I am back. I'm not going to leave you guys again. I'm going to try to stay with you guys. I'm going to try to work with you guys and All try right. to help you so guys out by giving today? you awesome videos that I know I can upload for you guys. I know you guys liked my content. And I know I'm I'm sorry for if I was gone for a while. But you guys also got to realize it kind of sucked when you didn't, have that great inter when you didn't really have great internet. And you had to work around that. But keep in mind, I am back. So let's give you guys one last cool car. Now we always ended it. We ended off last time by doing the Maserati, but I think we're gonna do something a little funnier. Well, guys, wait, is this it? Is this it? Wait. Hmm. That thing is my work. Guys, let's give you a fucking rotor. Let's give you a loud rotor, and I mean a loud rotor. Is this it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be it, guys. Okay, guys. A nice dose of ear rape is always the nice, is always the best way to end a video. And what better car to cause that than a Mazda RX-7? With a white stripe down the middle that I created, for some reason. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Sounds like a lot of bees pissed off. Okay. Holy shit, that is so loud. <laughs> all right that should do it all right guys it was a great freaking broadcast for you guys once again listen if you guys really like the videos drop a heart down there and follow me i promise you i'll be uploading every single day now give you my sorry i'm gonna do my famous catch race for you guys because i always do it well, I used to do it. You give a heart to me, and I'll give a heart right back. Thank you so much, guys. This is be a Obliteration Point, aka A Final Clips, and this is my time to say peace out.